Good morning. I wanted to show you how I make my videos. So right now I am using Screencastify. You can see because I hit this little button and it's red. So what you are seeing is everything that is on my screen. Okay. So I'm going to close this down. So the first thing that I do is I have to make all of my videos. So like put them into little segments. So I use an app called Visualizer. If you open up the launch pad, right here, kind of looks like a big old eyeball. So this works in two ways. I can use the camera option. And if I plug in my camera dock, my dock camera, hold on. There it goes. It's kind of a mess, but you can see everything I do. So this is how I demonstrate my artwork to my students. And then all I have to do is unplug it and I get to talk to them. Okay. So I have started making a, um, I started putting together a video. It only needs a couple more segments to finish. And this way you can see how I do it and how I put everything together. Okay. So right now I'm going to open this. Here we go. And then this is the record button. You can also use it to take a still shot picture, a fast or a slow motion picture. Okay, there's a lot of cool tools with this app. Okay, so right now I'm going to record. And what that's going to do, I have a file on my desktop called videos, and that's where all of these go to. So I just hit the save. And it's going to count down. Okay. All right. I hope you enjoyed making your beautiful tie-dye paper winter wonderlands. Um, I hope you enjoyed using this technique. And I cannot wait to see what you do. All right. So I'll see you next week. Bye. All right. So when I stop that, I'll open up that video file. And there you go. You can see it's right there. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for a second, go into my launch pad. So how I put all of my videos together is I use iMovie. It's a fabulous tool. Okay, so let this load. All right. So these are all, nope, oh, it's my media. These are all videos that I have made, and right now I'm working on a Winter Wonderland video. So I'm going to click on that to open. All right, so what you are seeing right now is this is a picture I made. I actually use Google Slides, put a little Bitmoji me in there, and then um, saved it as a JPEG, and then I can slide it in. All right, these are all mini videos that I've already done. All right, so I want to finish my video. Okay, so this is the end of the tutorial. I'm showing them how to put snow. So I want a picture of the finished project as well as my goodbye portion of it. So to insert a picture, I have a picture already taken of my finished artwork. So I'm going to open this up. Do, 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 do. All right, so there it is. The cool thing is I can actually slide, drag it right into the iMovie. And it's going to go right there. So I can make it shorter. Maybe I only want it to show for like one second. I usually do it for three to four seconds so that this way they can really look at it and see how I made my artwork. Okay. And then let's go back to, I'm gonna minimize. So that video that I just created, right here, I'm gonna slide and drag it over the iMovie. And you'll see there's two options. This is the iMovie creator, so I'm gonna stick it right in there. So if I hit the play button, and it's gonna count down, okay. All right, I hope you enjoyed making your beautiful tie-dye paper winter wonderlands. Um, I hope you enjoyed using this technique, and I cannot wait to see what you do. All right, so I'll see you next week. Bye. 
All right, so you can see how that video that I just made got put right into iMobi. But there's a lot of dead space. So this I don't want to keep. So there's a couple things you can do. I can click on the end, see where there's two arrows, and I can slide it to where I want it to start. That's one way. Another way is figure out where you want it to start, right here. And I'm going to click and then right click. Hit split clip that chops it basically, and then here I can go and delete it. Okay, so usually every video I do, I chop it in the beginning, and then I also want to chop it at the end. So, where did okay. split clip delete? Fabulous. All right, so couple of things now to show you see how there's a space in between what you want to do to make it smooth all right I hope you is add a transition so up here these are your tools that you're going to use so transition okay and what that is is you can actually see how it's going to go from one picture to another so this one looks like a circle this one kind of slides from side to side um this one's really cool it's kind of like a cube i'm going to drag this into here so now when i play it you can see what it's going to look like all right i hope you enjoyed making so it made the cube turn from side to side from picture to picture okay so those are transitions other cool tips is that when you have dead sounds like kind of very boring up here in audio you have if you have any iTunes songs which I actually just downloaded a couple of them um, the sound effects these are really cool for your transitions overlays and also if you go to there there we go now we're loading jingles these are all pre-made songs, so. That one's fun. So if I actually drag that over. So now it'll look like this. Try that again. Um, I actually, since it's Christmas time, I have, where was it? Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland. All right, I hope you enjoyed making your beautiful hide-out. And then with music, you can also do the same exact thing. So I didn't like where that started. I might drag the whole music and move it this way. So now it'll start here. I can also fade into the music by dragging the little circle there. here again right click make sure that's lit up hmm, you're not helping me very much there we go split the clip and then here delete and I like to end it with a transition so I'm gonna go back to transitions and spin out and this music was very loud. So up here are more tools, but they're specific to what you're working with. So here, I'm going to reduce that to about uh, 30%. In this technique, and I cannot wait to see what you do. This way it's kind of background music to me. Okay. 
So that's how you put clips together. I'm going to go back to the front of my video. All right, so notice I have dead space transition. So let's make this one a circle open. And then I'll hit play so you can see what that looks like. There we go. And then let's do the switch swap here. I'll show you what that looks like. Switch swap. Okay. And again, I have dead space, so I'm just going to drag it to where I want it to start. Welcome back, my amazing artists. So we have finally hit December. All right, so that's more fluid. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to show you, so this is my demonstration. So this I created with my document background. camera. And then you need a background color. So I So often when I am creating the artwork, it makes the video super long. Where's the portion? This one's a very demonstrative video. All right, here we go. This way. All right, so this is where I am coloring tinfoil, which is very long and boring. And Kids don't want to watch that. So I often speed these up. So how I do that is, first off, I want to sh shut the sound off. So I'm going to go up here. This is the sound icon, and I want zero sound. Or you can also mute it. That's fine. And then over here, which looks like a car speed thing, that's actually what it is. It's for speed. So I want to make this portion fast. And... Since it's a super, super long portion, I'm going to actually speed it up to 20. Okay. So to show you the difference now. Go back a little bit. Different colors. Okay. So that's bed up the whole video to show them what I'm doing, but they don't have to sit there and watch me color for six minutes. Okay. So that's a very speedy way of doing things. And then since there was no sound or dead time, this is also a great space for adding audio. So I'm going to go back. I like that winter wonderland song, drag it in, Let's put that there. So now, bring that up. Here we go. Okay. All right, and then I want it to split. This part I don't want anymore. I'm going to delete. And then I don't want it super loud either, so I'm going to bring it down to there. And I kind of want it to fade out, so I'm going to move this little ball there. want to make that sound just a little bit larger maybe right up to where I'm talking uh, all right so now my whole tin foil is covered with luck all right so that is how I make my videos um, okay. once your entire video is completed you want to file and share it to a file okay and that's going to save it onto your computer and then from there you can upload the file into itunes or whatever you want to do okay all right i hope this was helpful and i will see you or reach out to me if you have any questions okay thank y'all bye